Hey everyone, it is Michael B. Moore, aka McVinny. I'm coming to you from a hotel room today. So how about that? You know, Mr. Travel Fitness actually is in a hotel room, as he does one of these videos. I hope to do more of these um, in, in the future, but I, I know I save a lot of these type of videos for um, my, my clients when I'm actually training people who travel all the time. I have a lot of material for myself when I was actually in hotels, and I teach people how to, how to get in shape. But today is a little, little interesting topic because um, anyone that travels, you know, whether it's for business or you just go on a little vacation or something like that, most, most likely you want to, want to stay in shape. So one of the things you do, you use either the gym at your local facility. For instance, I'm at a hotel. This hotel actually has a gym. But when you're an advanced person like myself, you realize and you know how to utilize um, gym passes. And so, for instance, right now, with the gym membership I have, um, I can go anywhere to any of these gyms. And there's a gym that's less than a mile away from where I'm at. So that's where I just came from. So I was went to the gym, so I was able to keep up with my normal workout. So in this case, um, I'm currently on a um, – where I, I keep my strength. So today was a deadlift and a press day. So it was like shoulders and back pretty much. And then towards the end of it, since I'm in the fat loss phase right now, I do a conditioning session where I just come up with some random exercises because when it comes towards conditioning, which some people call cardio, I'm not trying to be an expert at it. I just pick a couple of mo random movements as well as maybe one or two movements that actually are weak points of mine. And I'm just, just doing them all back to back in the circuit. So that's what today's workout was. So I, I burned a lot of calories. Um, I lift heavy weights at the beginning, and then, like I said, at the end, I did a conditioning style workout. So once my workout is done, um, is then I know I need a proper nutrition. So today is a little different for me because I, I'm, I'm a person that practices intermittent fasting, and normally I do my workouts before I even have my first meal of the day. So sometimes, well, I won't say sometimes, most of the time when I work out, I don't go completely empty on an empty stomach. I might take um, some branch chain amino acids called BCAAs. Um, before I work out, that just has something in my system because even though I practice intermittent fasting, you should still have something in your system when you work out. That's that's one of the things I, I don't don't agree with with some people that practice intermittent fasting. They some people might do it completely fasted, but I feel like you should have something in your system, whether it's the amino acids or a little whey protein or even like a piece of fruit or something like that. Just something in your system so your your body's not completely de-energize you want something in there and then when you go through the workout normally on a normal day for myself I have a big meal one of my big meals I normally eat probably twice a day my meals are pretty big so normally I have a meal after I work out today is a little different day so today I'm, I'm on a little mini mini trip um, we got some stuff going on so I actually had a big breakfast well I'll say a bigger normal the normal brunch that's the best way to put it so I actually ate brunch before I worked out it's been a long time since I ate a big meal before I actually worked out so today is kind of throwing me off so when I went to the, to the gym today I didn't need something beforehand because the meal I had like four hours prior was still in my system and providing me enough energy to get through my workout no problem so I got through the workout no problem but then afterwards I know that um, I plan on having dinner with my wife tonight and she will not be available for about two hours from now. So in the meantime, I just got done with this workout that, that made me exhausted. And I'm under the, I, I have the, the philosophy that what matters is your total calories in the day. I, still, I, I definitely still believe that even though I'm on this trip. But because of my, my calorie intake, so I pay attention to my calories. I know how much I already had for, for my lunch. And I'll admit today's lunch for me or brunch, because it's a Sunday, and you do brunches on Sundays as I record this video. Um, for me, those those meals, or the meal I had today, for instance, um, was not ideal. Um, I thought it was ideal, but after I had it, I looked up the calories, and it would contain way more fat, hidden fat in it. There was lots of cheese, and what I had was Eggs Benedict from a place called Expectation here in Northern Virginia. And um, it, it was good. You know, I mean, I got it because it had lots of vegetables, had some poached eggs. So it's eggs Benedict, but it's on top of as asparagus and spinach and wheat toast and some potatoes. 
Um, so going into that meal, I wasn't sure just how much fat it was. So I, I normally research it beforehand because I had this before and I, I did the research beforehand, but I couldn't remember just how much fat it is. And there was, there was way too much fat. All right. So for me, I already had more calories in that meal than I wanted. When I say more calories, more so today's a workout day. So I try and eat way more carbohydrates than fats because I want that to support my workout. So I know I'm on the road. I know there's going to be like food hidden greasy foods and all that stuff and what I what I eat and it's never going to be perfect. I accept that. So I accept that I, I didn't do perfect with my first meal. So now that I know um, I have just one more big meal left in the day, I'm going to try and make that a little bit more compliant to how I normally do. I'm still within my calories, so I, I'll make it work. Which brings me to the point now. I know I, it was very long when it finally gets this point. So I finished my workout and because I know I got a two hour window before I have my big meal a day, I want to have some type of protein in my system right now. So I'm a big believer in fueling your body after you eat. So that's why I normally have my big meals after I, I work out. Because it you're, when you work out, you break your body down. And when I say work out, I'm talking about like lifting weights. When you're just running, that's a, that's different. Yeah, you're, you, you're utilizing energy, but it's not breaking your body down the same way as when you lift weights, it tears muscle fibers. And you're trying to get all that repair, so you need the substance in your body to help with the repairs. And that's what the carbohydrates, that's what the protein helps with. And so because of that, you don't want to have too much fat because you don't want that, your body not putting your, what I like to call the building blocks in the right, in the right construction zones, you know. If you have too much of all this, this stuff, um, it, won't, it won't do what it's supposed to do. So that's why you want to emphasize the protein and the carbohydrates closer to your workout window than the fats okay so I say all that because of the fact that now I, I worked out I just get, just got back from work that's why I didn't even bother trying to make myself pretty for this video I um, just came straight to my hotel room but before I get to my hotel room I stopped at a convenience store so I'm on the road I didn't pack any protein powders or anything like that because I kind of wanted to see what it would be like just to free ball it so next to my gym was a 7-eleven I walked in my first thought when I walked in that place was I was going to drink some type of skim milk with um, maybe chocolate skim milk or just skim milk by itself. I wanted to see if they would have it. Um, when I walked in there, there was no skim milk whatsoever. So the reason I, I say skim milk because the protein to carbohydrate ratio isn't too bad for the remaining calories I need for today. So I already know I need more protein. Okay. So in the perfect world, there would have been like a GNC or vitamin shop open. I could easily buy some protein powders and all that stuff. But no, I'm doing with what I have and trying to make best. Okay. So I know milk is the easy, cheap source as well. It's not expensive. I could have got two little small cartons of milk and drunk, drunk those. But as I went to 7-Eleven, I was amazed by the fact that um, that was not the best choice. First of all, they didn't have skim milk. They had whole milk. And when you look at the the... The, the macronutrients, you'll see that it was like 8 grams of protein to 8 grams of fat to about 12 grams of carbohydrates. So those weren't like ideal ratios. That was a lot of calories. So remember I had that big meal earlier that had lots of fat. So I'm not trying to emphasize too much fat right now. So I was trying to get rid of the fat for, for my last couple meals of the day. So that was a no-go. And then all this stuff they had was a no-go and then they did have actually you know like the the muscle milk the the protein powder type drinks but the problem was was they were all just protein no carbohydrates so like I said before when you just get done get done working out your body needs repairing you want that protein and carbohydrates ideally it's like a one to two ratio um, one gram of protein to two grams of carbohydrates if you're trying to be all scientific when you're perfect and all that stuff I, I try and go for like, like a one to one ratio, one one to one, one to two, something like that. It's, it's all good um, in the post workout window. So I kept looking around and seeing if, if I could find an even better choice than the muscle milk. So I was like, maybe I'll mix and match, maybe get one muscle milk, then get one milk and see how that would go. And then lo and behold, there were, there was something that was out there that I can kind of forgot about because in my travel days, um. I think, yeah, right when I first started traveling, that's when this company popped up on the radar. You start seeing them in all the convenience stores, all the airport convenience stores, all the, the national convenience stores, grocery stores. And um, I picked this up as the best choice. So I, I'm not, a, they don't sponsor me or anything, but Naked, 
okay? Um, this had the best ratio, so let me tell you what the ratio is. So the actual container tells you the whole serving size of the whole container. So this was like 15 fluid ounces, you know, and what it was was 420 calories. I'm not really counting calories like that. It, it, well, I am, but that's not really what attracted me to this was 420 calories. I care less. But it was the fact that it only had 4 grams of fat compared to 30 grams of protein and 65 grams of carbohydrates. And when it came towards those carbohydrates, where the sugar came from, it's pretty much all fruit juices and all that type of stuff that's that's in this. So this claims to be 89% juice. And at this point, um, I'm not going to go too far into to that to that topic because fruit juices and stuff. That's a no whole another video. Um, I'm not a big believer in fruit juice or anything like that. But it's just a simple fact that all I want is simple sugars in my body with some protein. In my perfect, perfect world, there would be no soy in this. Um, just because I prefer whey than soy after, after you work out. Um, people, you know, go, some people bash soy, others, you know, live by it. I'm kind of in the middle where if you don't over go overboard with soy, it's okay. So as a male, it, it's just, soy is known to affect, um, affect males more so than females and like I said I, I, I'll, I'll get into it maybe in another video but pretty much when you look at this all I know is it has 30 grams of soy and whey protein but you don't know how much of each it, it contains if you just do a quick off-the-shelf test so I'm sure I can look this up online and get an exact answer but for me this was the best choice from a convenience store everyone out there um, when you're, when you're in a dilemma like this, just make the best choice possible. For me today, this was the best choice. Obviously, it's not perfect, but for me, what I need is just quick energy, help my body repair, and that's what I'm going to do. So, I'm about to shake this up, shake this shake up. Put this in my body, go take a shower, relax, and have a great night, because I'm going to have a great dinner tonight. I'm, I'm still going to make sure I, I stay within my, my calorie range. Um, but this is going to help get that energy and help my, repair my body now. So my next meal will be enjoyable as well. So this is McVinny. And please utilize this, this tip next time you're traveling. Just try to make the best choice possible. Don't, don't drive yourself crazy trying to be perfect. There's no perfect answer. But there's always better decisions than, than the other decisions. Okay? So I'll see you next time.